Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome back to another video. So yeah, this video is about my tattoos. Um, they are all visible tattoos and they are all on the upper part of my body. I have seven altogether. My first tattoo was when I was 18 and my last one was last August. So yeah, I've been quite consistent <laughs> with the tattooing. And there are also in like symmetrical areas which you will notice so yeah i will just start with the first one that i got and i will put a picture of it here um so that was when it was fresh but it is this arm my little scorpion tattoo um yeah it was my first tattoo right and there was a lot of confusion when I was getting it and that's just me because I was being stupid but basically um so I'll just say I got it in November 2014 and I got it done at a studio that my cousin worked at who has got a really good name for herself at the minute um but the person that did mine was an apprentice so yeah um and it took about an hour and a half I think it was only about 80 pound so you know it's nothing crazy but I wanted a scorpion and I wanted it to be like a realism tattoo now looking back at the picture or at the actual tattoo you can see that didn't go to plan um but that's because so he he drew it up for me and then was comparing it to like a real scorpion and was like yeah and I was just pointing at the real scorpion being like yeah like that kind of ignoring what he'd drawn and I was just like yeah yeah I want it like you know to look like a scorpion and he was like right okay but I technically like I'd said yes to the drawing that he'd done because I was thinking okay well that's probably like the outline of it um yeah I know so I like he started with the outline and I was just like right okay yeah so far so good and then when he finished it I was just like oh it's a scorpion that looks a bit cartoony which obviously was not what I wanted but you know she happens um so yeah I had that and it was done on my 18th birthday I went out that night had it unwrapped it was weeping it ruined my pink dress so yeah bit of a negative experience with my first one but it didn't really hurt like in that area like I say it didn't hurt Tattoos really hurt. Like, if someone says it doesn't hurt somewhere, then they're lying. Like, it does hurt. But you can kind of get used to the pain. And the best thing I think it is, is like a bee sting. Or, and I think a lot of people say bee sting as well. But I haven't been stung by a bee in years. So I can't really remember what it feels like. But you know when you get, like, your blood taken? That initial, like, prick feeling that you get. Like, the sting that is like what a tattoo is like but constant yeah putting people off tattoos that's like the line work that feels like that um when you get shading it's like this is how i f explain it um if you were to like scratch yourself that is like the feeling of it but the pain is what you would expect if you were being scratched by a razor blade so yeah so that was my first one um and i do like it now like it's grown on me um but when i first got it done i was just like mm, do i like it do i do it's a bit late now but yeah so that was that my second tattoo was in february 2015 and it is my wings so i will insert a picture of when they were first getting done um yeah so it was a bit of a nightmare with this so i wanted like realism wings again sticking with the realism idea even though i just had a fucking i don't know what it's called isn't neo neo traditional i don't know but yeah so i wanted um realism and i wanted them to look really cute and dainty so the guy had done the outline and fuck, it really hurt like that is one of the worst pains I've ever felt. I was crying. Like, when he started on one wing, like, that was bad enough. But then when he transferred onto the other wing, 
because my body was like doing the pain relief for that wing, as soon as he went on that side, the pain was 10 times worse. Like it's so weird, like I can't explain it. And when you're um, closer to the spine, like, I don't know if this is with everyone, but when he was closer to the spine with me, I was getting the tingles all down my arms and oh, it was horrendous. So yeah, so I got that. And then he started shading and basically, he shaded them so they looked like they were two completely different wings. Like, the shading was not symmetrical. They didn't look the same. So, yeah, I was very disappointed in that. Considering, I want to say it was like about 600 quid altogether. So I think I was ripped off anyway, because he was like watching a film while it was all getting done and taking his time. So, yeah. And I was young, I was naive, so, you know, I didn't think anything of it. That was in February. In the March, like, because I was so unhappy with them, I got someone um, from a studio to rework them. So he did rework them. And I think it took about an hour and a half. Yeah. And, yeah, this is what they're like now, so. I mean, I'll show you the picture, but, um they're kind of you can see still how the shading has affected it how the original guy did that like they still look slightly different but because this um person that reworked them like did them as like the neo trad style again with the thick lines it takes away from the badness of the original if that makes sense so he also did like a before and after so i'll put that picture in as well um, but yeah, so that was my second tattoo, but I do really love my wings. Like they are one of my favorite tattoos. So yeah, my wings. So my third tattoo now is my moth tattoo. So I'll put the uh, picture of when it first got done. But basically the idea of that, I was liking the whole more, I don't know, like metal y sort of music. And a band in particular that I really liked was Sleeping With Sirens. So obviously you're wondering what that connection has with the tattoo. They have a song called Let Love Bleed Red that was on their first album. I think it was their first album. Um, and one of the lyrics in that song is moth into your light. So I was just like, wow that's so cute so i want a tattoo so yeah moth into a light yeah basically and i chose the moth because obviously i it's my tattoo <laughs> but um i just wanted one with red in it and the guy that did this is the one that reworked my wings so he um like suggested this moth i think a lot of people were having that at the time as well so it's kind of popular um so yeah basically that was my moth tattoo so that was my third one this one um in this area it didn't hurt that much in the middle fucking killed here i am never gonna get a tattoo in this area because that was awful just there so i couldn't imagine what's there and i get told it's really painful there as well so fuck that um, and it's the same with this side that really hurt it just stings like the stinging sensation just gets worse and I don't know why I don't know what difference it makes when it's like at the edge but that really hurts um so yeah and then my fourth tattoo is my dagger now I don't think you see this that often because I don't take photos and I don't really include my spine in the frame but this was done in November 2016. I will turn around and show you. So yeah basically I'll show you a picture as well but that's my dagger. I really wanted something to go in between so I was like yes a dagger like that sounds pretty like edgy you know and I was thinking right, I'll get like a snake going down it I technically designed my dagger 
um, and I'll show you the picture of the actual drawing. Um, and as you can see, like the tattoo artist, he basically did what I drew. So yeah, that was that. Um, with the dagger tattoo, fucking oh, really hurt. I like I drink energy drinks, um, and it's come a thing every tattoo I get. I get an energy drink and um, something sweet as well um, and I kind of make sure I do eat beforehand and I'm pretty sure I did eat before this one um, but I felt sick like I felt myself go really like clammy and it was awful like I don't know what what it did to me but yeah worst pain ever worse than the wings so yeah but I was a champ I didn't cry so you know i think i was just used to it by then but yeah it really hurt so yeah i actually really like this tattoo um like there is a little kind of error on one of the handle bits but it don't bother me really it's just one of them things um but i really like it and it's annoying because i never see it <laughs> so it's like <laughs> but at least i know it looks cool so yeah so my fifth tattoo is one i got in april 2017 and it is oh it's such an awkward angle that one i'll obviously put a picture but it is a matching tattoo with my fiance lee so i've got the crown and he's not got the crown um but we got this tattoo when we were living in norwich um and this particular artist that did it he was very into like the black work and the lines and the circles and you know them sort of things um and when we saw it because lee was getting the tattoo by him anyway and we were like hmm should we get a matching tattoo we were like yeah okay at this point <laughs> when were we together we were together in the september of 2016 so in April of the following year, we decided to get a matching tattoo, as you do. But yeah, so we got that. Um, and originally it was a wasp, and I don't like wasps. So I was like, make it a little bit fatter. And then it's a bee. So yeah. Since then we've really liked bees. So we've got the odd little thing in our house that's like bee related. It's cute. But yeah, so that was that's our matching tattoo and my fifth tattoo. And this one, it's the same... It was the same pain as this one, which you'd expect because the, the same place. So yeah. My sixth tattoo is one I got in June, 2018. And it is a memorial tattoo. Um, there we go. And it is of the family cat of ours called Poppy. Hence the Poppy flowers. Um, she was like, 18 i think when she died um and she died on the first day of mine and lee's first holiday so it was a bit depressing for a couple of days um but i remember those first few days i was like i need a tattoo of poppy like i just need a memorial tattoo and i mean because she's a black cat um it's obviously difficult to translate that into a tattoo without it being a black blob so um it doesn't look exactly like her it just looks like a, a black and white cat but it's still a nice tattoo so i'm not too bothered um so yeah, we've got poppy um and then if you're wondering what this is she hasn't just had a really bad fart it is in fact another memorial tattoo because we had another cat a few years before who died um called smoky so smoke I miss them but that was my sixth tattoo and that was the same sort of pain as this side um like it really hurt here really hurt here um and yeah that's basically it um so my seventh tattoo is this little snicky snack on my necky neck um <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I just I wanted something in the middle and I didn't really know what it was going to be I wasn't sure if I wanted something going across my collarbone or what so I was looking on Pinterest 
and I saw this design um, and I sent a picture to the guy that did like this one and this one and my dagger and my wings um, and he kind of he redrew it put his own twist on it and yeah and the reason it's here as well because I suppose you could have a tattoo like this anywhere but I have like moles that are in really weird places so this one here like I wanted this tattoo to be in between this these three triangle moles and then that big one there and it's very weirdly central so I wanted that in the middle there um and I, I don't know I've got a weird thing about my moles um like I'm I've never really been bothered about them like I've got this one here that's quite big like I catch it sometimes but I've got a couple of sets of triangle moles which I find very strange so I've got that one there and then I've got that one there so yeah I just wanted something there and I thought it looks cute so yeah my little sneaky snake um that was painful um I'd say it was on par with hmm, probably these ones because it didn't hurt like that much like <sighs> compared to so how much hurt and how much didn't hurt with these ones like that ratio was slightly off of this so there was parts of this that didn't hurt that much but then like I think at the top and at the bottom really hurt it was just like an overall stinging feeling but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be so yeah but yeah that's basically it they're all my tattoos um I'm not sure what I want next because I like the tattoos being symmetrical I need to get one that I know will is either central or is something that I can get like a, another side of. So I wasn't sure if I wanted something on my collarbone. Um, I feel like that might be quite nice. Or something like directly on my shoulders. I don't know. I just don't know. But yeah, whatever that will be, then I'll obviously do something. I don't know. But yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you for watching.